What is this? The game. Is that a fan? It's supposed to be a Rasengan. Levitate in the air. No way is that fan that strong. <laughs> All right, we have it on. We have it on. It is on. We have a literal. Whoa! What, what up, Rep Pack? It's your boy here, King Reptar, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day, and if you guys are, you know the drill. Naruto wish flip. Oh. Oh, okay, we got Sasuke, oh, we got Nardo, oh, we got Sakura, and Kukushi. It's about to get a whole, whole, whole lot ugly. Or a whole lot brighter, but it's about to get a whole lot uglier too, because inside of this box right here, we have a bunch of Naruto product from Wish.com. If you guys have not seen this Wish series before, I mean, it can be hit or miss. That's kind of how Wish is. It's not like Tintin. It don't hit every single time. Wait, you're telling me you spent $200 on a Wish? I spent $200 on a Wish. $59 on shipping. Dang, dude, would you buy the site? Like the whole thing? <laughs> the domain? Yes, $200 is a lot of money on a Wish. If you guys don't know what Wish is, I mean, you could take an item, like for example, uh, this poster, and that would be normally like $25 on Amazon, something like that. But if you go on Wish, this will be 25 cents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with 75 cents shipping. It'll show up in a black envelope folded into this small. <laughs> but that's kind of how it is. Like they have what you're looking for, but it's not exactly what you're looking for. Our goal here today is to find out is any of this stuff actually worth some of these things are gonna be five dollars, ten dollars, comparatively to forty or fifty online. Not even joking. But is it worth it? Is it legitimate? And is it actually a good purchase? So we're gonna open this box up today. The experiment is with all of these wish videos is finding out what's worth it and what's not worth it. If there's a link for it down below, I'll put it down below because some of this stuff they also saw on Amazon as well. If you guys are really, really interested in it. But I mean, I highly recommend watching some of my other Naruto videos for products to buy. Well, this could get rough. But hopefully, I actually spent two hundred dollars on something of value that I can walk away with today. That would be nice. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we got it open. As usual, I mean, honestly, this is probably one of the nicer boxes that we've ever seen for Wish, but it's actually because all of the Wish products were just stuffed inside this box. Thank you to Mitchell for stuffing this box. Let's go ahead and get our first item out of here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Looks like Wish. We got an unbranded black box. Let's see what we have in our unbranded black box. If you guys die, like I said, guys, these, these Wish videos, it's like this probably was like two dollars so that's like a benefit of it right whatever this is it could be bad it probably will be bad it's gonna be bad but it was two dollars three dollars we'll find out when i open it up we'll check the price for how much it costs and we'll decide here if it's worth the price let's sit on down and let's get into our first wish product naruto let's go here we go let's see what we got here oh oh i well, don't know what that is what are you talking oh i didn't expect this level <laughs> <laughs> oh you see this that's not that's not wish oh it's oh it's got something in it <laughs> All right, so we got a stand. Oh, what do you know about that marble cracked ice stand? <laughs> it's got a charger for something. We got a little remote and- I was about to say, what do you put on it? Looks like you put this on it. Oh, what is that though? We got, oh, we got a little Shikamaru. We got a little, so what is the character choice? We have Naruto, Shikamaru, Sakura, Sakura Shikamaru, <laughs> Itachi, and Sasuke. The main characters. <laughs> <laughs> what is Shikamaru doing there? He's his advisor. You know, Shikamaru, we just kind of like you. Just come on over. And then it has an Itachi, but but let's go ahead and see what this thing actually does. Plugs into power, can light up to seven radiant colors. All right, so let's see how much this costs before we turn this on so we can get our valuation. And then we're gonna plug this guy up and we'll see if it's worth it. All right, so we turn the lights off because this thing actually is glowing. And I'll say that's actually like, I thought the ice, like the cracked ice thing was kind of like, oh, like, oh, I'm gonna make fun of it because it's Wish. But like, you know, it's actually kind of cool how it like, like radiates through it. Oh yeah. All right, so let me see if the remote actually works. We got red. Okay. So this was $12. 12 bucks? 12 bucks. For seven radiant colors? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's take these things off and apparently you put this on there. All right. So we're going to go ahead and put this piece in and then go ahead and hit the light, Parker. Hey, you know what? 12 bucks? Bucks? That's pretty hard for twelve dollars. Look at that. He's pointing at you saying, Hey, look at you. Not having this for twelve dollars. <laughs> he said money well spent. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put it on the fade mode. Oh dude, I'm rocking that by my bedside. I am I'm enjoying it now. <laughs> <laughs> dude, that is so freaking sick. What do you think? Do you think twelve dollars worth it? Hell yeah. 12 Hell yeah. Because you know what? Twelve bucks, like that's just not an inconvenient amount for like yeah. something that could just put a even like a tiny collection together, you know? Yeah, and have a nightlight even just a simple nightlight for Naruto. Well, fan. I don't need no nightlight. Dude, but... what is up with this one though? Because this is the one that they mark it, but it's like it's got the shotting gun on top, and then it's got Shikamaru. Just... Oh yeah, I forgot look at that. Who's that in the middle? Is that a Kakashi? Oh Kakashi, okay. Like, like everything makes sense except for Shikamaru. <laughs> Go ahead and hit the lights one more time. That's pretty 
cool. And I wonder if you could buy multiples of these things. You could just do like a bunch of designs. But like, I think I like the Itachi one the most. But that one is pretty cool too. All right, which color you think is the best for this one? I think for that one, blue would look best for that one. And I think for Itachi, obviously. Do red. <laughs> yeah. All right, though. I'm going to give this one. Go ahead and hit the lights back on. I'm giving that one a pass all day. Worth it or not worth it? For sure worth it. And I'm actually kind of shocked. I thought our first wish product was going to be bad. Pretty good. It's, uh, it's a good start. Yeah, you know what? We're actually going to add this to the collection. I'm not going to put it like anywhere like premium real estate, but I'll put it over here on the main, on the desk over here on the side. Yeah, non-premium. Non-premium. All right, so for the Itachi light, I decided to put it right over here in front of the My Hero Academia collection. Right now, this desk is a little bit dirty because we're working on the Lego series, but right there, that's where the Itachi light is going. All right, so if you come over here, you can kind of see him. It's pretty much my phone's on the floor. Why, why is that a good idea? <laughs> it just is, okay? But over there, we have Itachi. You kind of peek it around the TV, see him? I'm pointing at you, don't look at me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you change that channel. <laughs> All right, so obviously this stuff isn't licensed, so I mean, there's not really the same collectible factor to it, but I mean, if you're trying to start a collection for Naruto and you don't have a lot of extra money, I mean, a hundred bucks can get you looking like a pretty big Naruto fan on Wish, from what I can tell. So this, but, so none of this is licensed? Like actual real stuff. We'll find out. We're going to find out as we get these items out. Maybe some of them are in the mix, but for the most part, they should be all in license for those prices. All right, next item out. Here we go. We got, okay, so this is a little combo pack. It comes with a wallet and a necklace and a ring. Let's check it out. That's this is like everything you have. <laughs> I know, right? I don't have a ring. Oh yeah, you're not a ring guy. I guess you're no, doing it now. No one liked it, so they didn't put a ring on it yet. I'm sorry to hear that. Here we go. Let's pop this open. This was, let's see the price on this. Six dollars for this whole combo. A six Six dollar combo. <laughs> that you get less. You get less at Wendy's, bro. <laughs> All right, so let's find out is this worth it for six bucks? Would you wear this? Would you buy this? I already know you wouldn't wear any of this. But wait, me? wait, wait, wait. Why are you making these assumptions? Maybe I would wear something like this. All right, would you wear this ring? You'd be like the most unwearable thing. Now this won't even fit my fingers. My huge fingers. Oh yeah, you're right. This is like a hula hoop for you. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it fits perfect. <laughs> Married to the village. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have a necklace right here. All right, would you wear this, Parker? I think this is a better question for you because I wear anything. My question is, would it look good? I, I'd wear it, but would it look good? Yeah, a Kisame vibe. A Kisame vibe? Yeah. I would give off a Well, it's not the worst, I guess. Yeah, he's not bad. He's a, he's a cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool. He's, and you wear, you like blue. I like green. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you know that. Well, nobody in the, the Akatsuki that likes green. Zetsu. <laughs> oh, there you go. Zetsu. <laughs> All right, Parker, this is yours. Take home that today. I'll this? Keep, I'll keep this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, just, what's that black thing around your neck? Are you okay? <laughs> no. But for real though, I'd say the necklace. Let's try it on just for the just for the example. How does it look? I think it looks pretty good. Well, yeah, obviously it looks sick as. <laughs> all right, so let's pop the wallet open. Now this is where your money's at. All right, <laughs> literally. But this is where you keep your money. <laughs> that, was so that, much... that killed you. Huh? <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, let's see if this is worth it though, because for six dollars, the ring and the necklace were actually bonus items. Let's so is this a, is this gonna be a chain wallet? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> find out. Hey, you know what though? That's just <laughs> sick as hell. <laughs> the Akatsuki was BTS. Uh, yeah, it's like the BTS Akatsuki. Then we got a little freaking dirty screen here. We got, it's a little dirty, but it's okay. We got a little thing for your wife. Parker, your wife? That's more for your like ID. Yeah, well, for those of that love our wives, then we'll put our <laughs> wives there. <laughs> I'm not married, but I love my future wife. All right. And then over here, we have the card slot. But then right here, we have a little pouch for coins. Go ahead, go ahead, zip it. That should not be in a, in a wallet. And then we got two, count them, two spots for oh, cash. Dang. Small one for bills. The lower bills, one for them big boys. Yeah, one for when you're broke and one for when you got them hundos. All right. <laughs> That's where the Benjamins go in the second pocket. You know that. Oh, yeah. We all know that. Them cold faces. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? I'm going to say, man, I would pay $6 for the ring and the necklace. I feel like there could be a better version of this at Hot Topic one day. But there's not. Also a good <laughs> For six bucks for the whole thing? <laughs> yeah, they're actually kind of shocking probably, me today. Probably worth it. Probably yeah, worth. I'm going to say it's worth it too. So we got a nice, I mean, obviously you can tell like by Tachi's artwork. This isn't like official artwork. This is like some fan made artwork, but that's okay. I mean, it looks pretty good for six damn dollars. And like I said, you get a ring and the necklace with it. I'm going to go ahead and give that a pass too. Surprising. <laughs> Wish, I mean, last time we did this video, Wish was like terrible. So far, we're two for two. All right, and I actually have one. One of these wallets right here so we have that wallet right there we have another one to go with it boom we got two of them now and guess what what i got two more for <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there we go. That's where those are going to keep building that collection. What are you doing? Just appreciating my wife. What? I use this whenever I get pulled over by police. Just flash to him real quick. Like, it's a no bull. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have that waiting at home? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead. As a matter of fact, let me give you an escort. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next item, though. I'm keeping that card in there. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see. This is... This doesn't look like Naruto at all. It looks like a like a burger. Oh, there is Naruto. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's doing a planetary Rasengan, bro. What do you know about this? <laughs> the that, hell is that? That's Aang from freaking <laughs> from the Avatar. <laughs> What is this? The game. Is that a fan? It's supposed to be a Rasengan. I get it now. But All right, let's see. Maybe got some. St oh, wow. They just straight up put Pikachu's yeah. face. <laughs> I love Wish so much. They don't They're just like, you, you, get, you got so much more than what you asked for. <laughs> yeah. Levitate in the air. No way is that fan that strong. It's not even on. All right. We have it on. We have it on. It is on. We have a literal. Whoa! What the, dude! It actually moved You almost though. killed me with the reset gun! <laughs> How do I get to turn on again? How did you do it the first time? I don't know, you we just, just did it. I was looking at the directions, and then he just magically turns it on. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try and figure out, I think that literally, we get to turn it on. Oh! oh. It's happening again! <laughs> I don't know! But let's see if it actually levitates. No! Wow! No, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, though! This is literally a reset gun! Sasuke! That is so sick. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's back over here. No. Oh, dude, I feel like that kid. Are you, how much was that? That was only nine dollars. I'll take ten. <laughs> I've got a hundred dollar bills of what's every single one you got. <laughs> Holy crap, that was sick. All right, here we go. Reset God in three. Don't do it hard. Two. I don't want that. One. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> that is so dope. So scared. Oh! <laughs> we just found a real life, I mean, kind of, I mean, obviously it's not a real Rustang gun, but I mean, to have that fun, just like with your friend, or just to play around with like your little brother or something like that, or even just by yourself and just toss it up and down in your house, to have it that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that beats a regular bouncy ball any day, let's get back in the box. Three for three for Wish, let's give him a round of applause. Alright, let's get back in here. Rasengan! Alright, let's see what we got in here now, guys. Oh, okay. Is this a tutorial? No, let's calm, <laughs> <laughs> let's calm down because we got some figures. Because I don't know, you know, Wish can be a little, uh, sus when it comes to the figures. We got a big pack of figs. <laughs> All right, let's check them out and let's see what we got here. Okay, well, so far we got Headless Sakura, but let's see what else we got. Okay, I'm just gonna pull them all out one at a time. You know what? I was expecting them to be a lot worse than that. Like, that's actually not that bad. Like, what is up with Wish? Did they, like, change their standards? You know what? You're right. That isn't that bad. Like, like I mean, yeah, we can see in the back here there's some really bad spray lines. You can see some stuff that says, obviously, this isn't official. But again, if you don't have a lot of money and you just want to have some large representation in your room, that is not, like, you know, something laughable like usually Wish is. You know, it's about it's not about how much it costs, it's about how it aesthetically looks. Alright, next up, we got Itachi, which also looks pretty damn good. We got Kakashi, also looking pretty nice. Alright, there we go, we have Naruto. Well, look at his hair, his hair looks like Bart Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest guys when we started this video I thought it was gonna be more of a comedic one of like just I was laughing at all these these terrible figures But honestly wish has really stepped up their standard quite a bit at least it's the sellers that I bought from because I'm, I'm shocked And obviously there we have Gara. and we even got a little Itachi again, man We got Itachi without the Akatsuki cloak. We got Sasuke Uchiha. I can't believe this came from wish to be honest with you Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like it's shocking. All right, we got next up. We have Hinata Hyuga also looking really good like honestly you could put all of these on a shelf like I said and I mean they look like pretty decent enough figures to where I wouldn't really question if they were fake or not to be honest we got Mad Max Sasuke I think the worst one might be this one coming up right now but even this one's not that bad and that's a Gara as well but a different form oh this is Gord being that small <laughs> yeah his Gord looks like <laughs> like a canteen <laughs> <laughs> and then next we have I don't know this is like look this is uh, Hokage Naruto right here all right but I gotta say oh wait we have one one more still and we even have Jiraiya like there is literally so many characters all right so there they all are right here and I gotta say I am so shocked at how good they are and this entire set will only run you $19 19 bucks you think it's worth it for 19 bucks I oh for 19 I would say no because if you were to think about like this figure let's just say this is a knockoff this is a merchandise you know licensed product this would cost you $12 I'd say like seven 
eight based off the size and a mystery mini type thing you oh know? mystery mini yeah probably. yeah probably be like seven to twelve bucks yeah so like if you want to get like volume on your shelf i think for twenty dollars that's a pretty good deal when you put it that way yes but like if they had this like in a box and then you looked at it and you're like oh all this for like 12 bucks start doing the math or 20 bucks i would say maybe not but when you put it in the in like the mystery mini aspect comparing it yeah i would say it's probably good value all right so we'll give it barely passes so it's still four for four because i have to compare these to the last like yeah, wish those stuff were that we've really seen because we've I mean we've seen stuff that was like is that the Naruto or Pikachu you know yeah. like you know so it's really really not that bad so I'm gonna give this one a pass too so boom we're four for four with Wish what the hell Wish I expected worse from you <laughs> and I won't be adding those to the collection um I will be adding that Rasengan ball though that is gonna be added to the collection today for sure the one thing I do have to say about that ball is that like there's if if you just saw that you're like what the hell is it you know there's no way someone could just be like oh is this is that that's what saying, God's gotta be. Because you turn it on, you're like, oh, God. yeah, no, that makes up for everything. But I'm saying, like, if you add it, you have to add it in such a way. No, yeah, we're gonna put it probably somewhere over here. Yeah. There's something that is, like, I like having items like the mask and different items you can just kind of turn on, make the room more interactive. So that's a perfect item just for that. Okay, next item out. I'm just, uh, I'm at this point, I'm just assuming that Wish can't go wrong. They I can't. wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I would not do that. Maybe I should grab this then. So these were marketed. This is what I kind of knew was gonna be bad. This was marketed as Naruto. Naruto sweatpants. Oh no. But the thing is, is now they're here and they're from South Pole. <laughs> what the hell? South Pole is like a normal brand. I mean, this would be $40 retail. Oh, suggested retail. That's funny. Suggested retail. <laughs> yeah, we know. We know what we're doing here. We give you good <laughs> stuff and then you mark it up way more. But the thing is, is they were marketed as Naruto sweatpants. Ninja don't sweat. No, but the thing is, they're marketed as Naruto sweatpants. Their retail value is $40. They were only $12. Oh, come on. Now now we just know industry secrets. <laughs> My thing is, is they're just orange pants. Like, they're just orange pants. They're not even Naruto pants. All right, I'm going to go try these on. Maybe putting them on, I could give them a quality test as as pants in general. Well, how do they feel? Like, right now. They feel pretty nice. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. Let's see you put them on. I'm going to go put them on. I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, man. You put these on, you're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. These feel, Why, they feel like sweatpants i mean it's almost like someone's like oh i want to look like a prisoner <laughs> <laughs> they do yeah, they look like either prisoner or like swag tastic yeah <laughs> they look like like skateboard pants damn it it looks good like it doesn't <laughs> look bad i think i'm just making it look good but i don't think they're that good of a not to, to boost my own horn here but i think it's just that my outfit works with it these straight up look like prison pants but i will say they're comfortable like like do we give it no points because it's not naruto or do we give it points for being twelve dollars sweats that are actually not that bad. <laughs> I don't know, because there's like, if, okay, you're you're in a store and I'm like, oh wow, this is a very odd thing going yeah. on here. Nowhere is there any sort of representation for Naruto, so you can't give it any points. This yeah. is a Naruto box. I think like literally, maybe these are for like people to cosplay. As who prisoners? <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and give this one our first mail mm. for a wish. This is not a pass. No pass for this one. So I mean, they're great sweatpants. So what about sweatpants on its own? No, I I mean a sweatpants. I'm gonna give them a pass. I mean for twelve dollars. I mean, you saw it suggested retail. So that for sure isn't getting added to the collection, obviously. It you just... don't want to hang them up right there like a swappy? <laughs> yeah. Everybody comes in here. Konoha Naruto war worn pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what do we got next in here, man? Okay, we got like a. Let's check it out. Oh, it's a. That's a reusable bag. Oh no, it looks like a scroll. Damn. Oh. Look at that wood quality. That looks like the frog's pipe. No, it's the bee's knees. <laughs> the Naruto bath mat. Oh, it's like a wall scroll or something. Let's just check out the design itself. Let me see how the. I mean, the design itself is kind of cool. So you have Sage Monarch, you got Kurama, you got like the. You got Gamakichi. That's pretty interesting. All right, let me see if I can figure this thing out real quick. I don't really know. Okay, and this wall scroll was $9 too. So. Okay! I'm done! That sucks. That's a fail. I couldn't even make it work. This is it. I'm gonna put it on the floor right here. It'd be a little little entry entry carpet. Mm. All right, so there's two down. Those are not working. I mean, it seemed like we had a good streak at the start here. Let's see what's next. Okay, we got uh, another figure. Oh, it's a Pikachu figure. It's a Nendroid Naruto Uzumaki Shippuden with Shotgun symbol. Why is it that like they just put a Shotgun symbol on 
anything. Because that sells. <laughs> like anything they could put a shotgun gun symbol on, even if it makes sense or not. Shot I'm surprised those sweatpants would have a shotgun gun symbol. We should just make start making pop up shops just called shotgun gun and like everything will sell out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm pretty sure it's already a brand. It's called Hypelin. Let's check them out though. We got the Naruto. Let's see if it's a good figure in general. So we have this right here. That's his base. Boom. There we go. I mean, if you want six path Pikachu, you got him. That's not bad. I don't think it's bad, but I'm just tired of like Pikachu overshadows everything. Like, yeah, yeah I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Like, I like the idea of Pikachu being morphed and different stuff like that. So I'm going to go and give it a pat. I'm not going to put it in the collection room just because like I really like having licensed stuff in here for the most part. So I don't really want to put this in here. But again, if you're on a budget and you need a Naruto collection, if you like Pokemon, this is a perfect little item and this would run you $15, one of the more expensive items. Funko Pop or this? I gotta say this though, to be honest, if it's like you have a, like a bad Funko Pop. That's a good point. There's so many bad Funko Pops. Yeah, like I'd say depending on the Funko Pop, I'd say this would probably be better than a Funko Pop at least because it's got so much more detail. It really encapsulates your um, fandom for it. And I would say this encapsulates your fandom more than a Funko Pop because anybody can have a Funko Pop these days. Like, you know, if you went out your way to buy this, you probably really, really like Naruto. I think it's the fact that I have to, I would have to give it a pass as well because I like Naruto and Pokemon. Like I like them separately. Yeah. So this is a cool item. I just like, I know they do that a lot with statues. Like, oh, Pikachu dressed is this or that and i'm just yeah. like okay all right so this one gets a pass too we're on our last item here guys this is actually a small one and it's just a plushie and it's kakashi and it has a it has a tag on it so we know it's official already oh sorry P P naruto chu i'm sorry about that naruto maybe these days you shouldn't combine pikachu with anything all right, so let's see it. And we have Kakashi. I mean, I have a Naruto plushie very similar to this, so I can tell if this was real and it's just legitimate. But this one was also $16 on which. This was $16? <laughs> it was 16 bucks. If I found that on the side of a road, I'd leave it there, bro. You're a hater. Parker's I'm a, a hater. I'm a hater of what? <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. I actually like him. He's a plushie, Parker. It looks like you turned him into a Muppet. A cute Muppet. I really like it. And we have the little uh, Kanai right here. I'd say for 17 bucks, I'm only going to say it's worth oh, it. It went up now. The only reason I'm going to give this a pass i mean for one it's official we have the, the tag right there i mean look it says naruto plush wait this is an official product it is an official product i thought it was like an official wish product no no it's official <laughs> it's shown in jump that came out in 2002 so give them a little break i i guess i could give a a uh, a little uh, rebate i'm giving it a pass all day and we're gonna add this to the collection room the thing is like i don't know like part of me feels like it's official no it's not dude there's nothing about that looks official it's not official and how, can you tell how did they get this label though okay so here's how we know it's not official because this right here, this is your tag that would normally come with stuff. And uh, to be honest, when I was joking around, I was like, oh, see what it says? Naruto plush. I was like thinking, oh, joking around, this is like, you know, bad quality or whatever. But I think really it is fake because the thing is, is this says 2002, but when you look on the tag on the inside, look what that production date says. Oh, 2021? So, something sus. Like, I don't know, like, I guess we're gonna give it a fail mm. because I don't know if this is legitimate or not. That doesn't make sense to me for to have a production date. Of okay, so I figured it out. This Kakashi is a reprint. So those figures over there are from 2002. Actually, this one is a 2021 reprint of the Kakashi figure that was made by Great Eastern Entertainment, which makes a majority of anime products right now. So it is an official one, but it's a reprint of an official product that was made a long time ago. And to be honest, I kind of want to keep the plushies official. I thought it was an old school Mattel one. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll hide it somewhere in here. But I'm going to give this one a fail. Yeah, I just decided to put him there. Because right now, this Naruto section still needs more stuff. So I mean, he could get swapped out at some point. But right now, I put him right behind Pikachu. Because it only makes sense that he's with his lightning buddy. All right, so the box is empty. But give me that goddamn Rasengan ball. That was so sick. And I'll give it to you in the only fashion I know how. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> All right, I think the, the the highlight items of this one was for sure the Rasengan. <laughs> that Definitely. thing is just too sick. And then the light. I think those are the two like um, items that, that just stood out the most to me. Were the light that we got and the Rasengan. Those are the most worth it in my opinion. Not that necklace you're still wearing? I'd say, you know what? The necklace is worth it too. But I'd say if you're just trying to become a Naruto collector, have a nice Naruto collection, that light's going to be a really, really nice piece. And this Rasengan, that might not be a cool Naruto piece, but goddamn is it a lot of fun. <laughs> I can literally do this all day. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Oh <laughs> Party driver saying gone in the nuts. That's and my Rasen Gons. Yeah, it's called the Stickular Contortion. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you're not already, but you know the drill. Subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed. Scan it.
Alright guys, so this time Wish actually won. I'm not trying to like beat him or anything, but I just kind of expected this to go a lot worse than it did. So I'm glad that it came out the way it did. I mean, we even got a couple items for the collection, which I didn't expect. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe if you're new here. Because if you guys want to see a part two to this Wish video, I'm definitely going to be doing it. Because that was actually a lot of fun. Like I said, we actually got some cool pieces. So I might do a part two if you guys want to see that. Let me know down below. But check out this video screen right here, which is actually the last epic video that YouTube recommends for you because you have not seen it. And I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Red Pack, I will see you beautiful motherfuckers in the next one. Adios. Bloop.